Yo, what's good, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another video of mine. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning family member, you already know what it is and what it always will be. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe if you choose to. If not, just sit back, relax, and we're going to get right into this thing. Now, first thing first, I want to thank everybody who has sent me a message Email me, DM me, all of that stuff. It has truly been overwhelming. This episode, episode four of Sisters, really got people in their feelings. And it's been such an interesting thing to experience, all right? Now, I do know that a lot of people are upset. A lot of people, you know, claiming they don't, they're not going to watch the show anymore. And I get it because I've been there. And one of the things that have made, I guess, my liking for Sisters kind of uh, reemerge again is because even though, yes, the writing is slow, yes, these storylines are sloppy as hell, and some of this stuff seems unrealistic, it does present an opportunity to create dialogue and conversation. And that's one of the things I said that I wanted to do going into season six. I wanted to have more real conversation on my page, on my channel, excuse me, about some of the different storylines within the show. And even though we are getting tired of it. We don't want to see the back and forth. I personally believe that the storyline of Fatima, Zach, and Karen, and Aaron, I'll throw him in there, is one of the most realistic storylines that there is. And I understand why Tyler always puts such emphasis on it because it's probably one of the most realistic situations that is happening on the show that is also happening out here in real life, unfortunately. So I'm going to go with that. And if you looked at the title of this video, it is entitled, Is Zach Still in Love with Karen and Fatima Needs to Go? And so um, I can't even tell y'all how many times I've been asked this question uh, via social media. And so many people are in this mode of Fatima needs to leave, Fatima needs to go, she don't need to be with Zach no more, all of this stuff, right? So I said, you know what, I think that'll make a good a video a good time to you know engage in dialogue with the people who may come across this video now i know i'm gonna tell y'all straight up i'm gonna say something that's gonna make some people mad <laughs> i'm gonna say some things that are gonna piss people off but you know what i don't care these are my personal feelings and you're able to express your personal feelings or whatever in the comments so we're gonna get right into it let me start off by saying that i am fully aware that there are different types of love. I am also well aware that it's possible to love someone and not be in love with them. I completely comprehend that notion. However, I do not believe that's the case when it comes to Zachary Taylor. Now, many fans are in an uproar because of Zach's emotional response to A, the thought of Karen being deceased, and B, the revelation of her being alive. I promise it's as if people wanted him to act like, you know, oh, she, oh, she's still breathing? I bet. It's like, I really want to know, like, what do people expect? Some people believe that Zach did too much, that he did it, that he did, you know, he was overboard, and that he should have had Fatima in mind, but I'm getting too far uh, myself. Now, as I said, you know, some people think he did too much. Some people think that in the midst of this man having an emotional breakdown, he should have displayed a level of concern and acknowledgement of Fatima. And I'm like, how? And why would he do that? In that moment, Fatima was a non-factor. And I also believe that Fatima made herself a non-factor because she was consoling um, Andy. Let me tell you, if I was Fatima, uh, baby, Andy would have been okay. I don't personally think that I could watch my man break down like that and not go comfort him. I don't care who he was crying about. The ex, I don't care. Like, the, what Zach displayed was someone who was genuinely hurt. And I just don't know as a woman if I could watch my man like that. Like, how I felt in that moment really wouldn't have mattered. My man needs me, and I'm going to be there for him. That's how, that's personally how I feel. Now, Zach isn't my favorite character, but the pedestal that some people put him on and the and the emotional expectations that they have for him, it really blows my mind. Like, I can't imagine if when Fatima found out that Ian was dealing with a terminal illness and she saw Zach, that she would have, oh, hey, baby. Like, like I don't think that she would have done that. So the, I believe the same grace that people have extended to Fatima in that manner should be extended to Zach. But you know what I'm saying? that That's me. Now, 
Get into the question at hand. Is Zach still in love with Karen? I believe Zach is still in love with Karen, and I believe he always has been. Now, as a viewer, one of the things that I believe has been unfair to the character of Zach is that Tyler has never written it to where Zach was given the opportunity to acknowledge, confront, process, deal with, and move on effectively from being emotionally disconnected from Karen and their three-year on-again off again relationship. I just don't believe that it was a true depiction of, well, let me not say that. I do believe that it, that Zach's actions were a true depiction of what happens when one has been disconnected. And I think in real life that happens, you may have that person that start going to the club who may be drinking excessive, excessively, smoking excessively, having sex, having multiple partners that really don't mean anything. Everyone has their vice and everyone has their way of dealing with hurt and I believe that with Zach we never really saw him in a position to process what actually happened between him and Karen which I think is unfortunate because it to me it really would have been an interesting uh journey to follow him on now with Karen I will say that even though it was messy as hell at times she pissed us off at times by some of her actions she was still depicted as a woman coming to terms with her newfound reality and that reality was the man that she thought or the man that she wanted to spend the rest of her life with was no longer there it wasn't like you know Zach just up and left you know they made the decision they weren't going to be together anymore because she wanted to pursue and see what could happen with her and Aaron now initially I believe that Zach used sex with Fatima as a remedy to rid himself of the emotional attachment with Karen and a lot of fans believe that Zach is so over Karen he doesn't love Karen he's not in love with Karen he just, he don't want nothing to do with her he's over her I'm like is he really though is he really now for us it's been multiple seasons and years but for the characters we've only witnessed like what eight or nine weeks of their lives it hasn't been that long and I do find it interesting that and I get this all the time with some people they believe oh yeah Zach don't want nothing to do with Karen Zach don't love Karen and I'm like I'm having a hard time believing that people believe he doesn't love Karen, but he's at a place emotionally to the fact that he wants to marry Fatima. I'm like, some of that stuff, that just don't seem realistic to me. And I'm not saying that it has to take someone years to get over a past love or a hurt or a relationship. But I'm like, the reality is that we've never seen Zach process those feelings. Those feelings just don't dissipate. You know what I'm saying? They just don't evaporate into the clear sky. They're still there. And until he actually deals with them, they're going to still be there. So when certain things happen with Karen or whatever, it's going to express themse themselves or show themselves in the physical. You know what I'm saying? Just like the hug. But we'll get to that a little later. Now, many fans have asked or wondered why is Zach always triggered or mad whenever Aaron comes around? Because it just don't seem right, right? What has happened that Zach will have such this vitriol aggressiveness towards Aaron? And I'm like, you know what? Well, the answer has been in front of our face the entire time. He's still in love with Karen. Now, I know there are some people who believe that Zach has an issue with Aaron because he was stabbed by his... Um, his ex-brother-in-law being but I believe it's much deeper than that um when all that stuff happened Zach wanted to be with Karen he wanted to prove to her that he could be a better man a man that she could be proud of having he also wanted her to take things slow with Aaron because Zach realized just how much Karen actually liked Aaron now after Zach's ass <laughs> broke into um Aaron's hotel and caught him and Karen in a compromising position many of Zach's actions after that was motivated by hurt anger and disappointment now this is in no way a slight to Fatima and Zach's uh relationship but I believe Zach wanted to show Karen that hey I could do the same thing you're doing you gonna get with somebody I'm gonna get with somebody too now I think one of the things that's so interesting is because when Zach broke into the hotel room you know, Aaron was, you know, going down on Karen. So I believe that Zach believed 
that Karen and Aaron were having a sexual relationship. And we, the viewers, know that after that situation happened, that happened, like, in season two, episode, like, three or four, I believe. I don't think Aaron and Karen had sex to, like, season three, episode six, which we do know in Tyler time. That's only a few days after that. So it wasn't like it was that long, even though there were multiple episodes, you know what I'm saying, um, in between those. But I just feel like because he thought that was that's what was going on, he, you know, allowed himself to, you know, have sex with Fatima because at the same time, it really didn't mean anything. Initially, it was just sex. Now, speaking of Fatima, so many fans, even to this day, give Fatima, in my personal opinion, entirely too much credit for Zach's financial come up. We all know he was given a tip. You know what I'm saying? But the two biggest motivating motivating factors were Aaron and Karen. I know some people don't want to believe that, but that's the truth. Now, I don't remember the specific episode, and maybe someone who's listening will remember and point people to the correct season and, and episode. But Zach had a conversation with Danny, and, you know, Danny was being her normal, messy self. She was telling Zach how much Karen talked about Aaron and how much she liked him. And Zach tells her that, you know, I looked old boy up. And he's filthy rich. Like, I'm paraphrasing it. But he's filthy rich. So, him joining uh, Dream Chasers. Wait a minute. Was that shit called Dream Chasers? <laughs> what is th- Dream Chasers? Where the hell? I think, ain't that Meek Mill group or something? Um, ch- chain Breakers. That's it. Wow, Alicia. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit that. I'm going to leave that in. Um, Chain Breakers. Once Zach got into uh, one, his motivation for being in chain breakers had everything to do with the fact that Aaron has all this money. He didn't have any money. He wanted be a, he wanted to be a contender for, for Karen's heart. So the only way he felt like he could even be in the running, he had to come to her with something. And if you remember, I believe it was the last episode of season two, he asked her to, excuse me, the last episode of season one, he asked Karen, you know, to wait for him. Take things slow with old dude. I want to show you. I don't have a plan together, but I, I got a promise. Like, I promise you. I made you a promise. And so that was his motivation for gathering up this money by being in um in Chain Breakers. Now, there was a lot of things that took place in between that time between Karen and, and Aaron and, and Zach. I'm not going to get into all of that. But the thing about it is I really wanted to show that the, this thing with Zach and him telling uh Karen that he loves her on the phone and we see Fatima comes in I'm so very like shocked because Zach has never denied the fact that he loves Karen and that he will always love Karen but it's interesting that people are like oh my god no he didn't tell her that and I'm like it's not a secret it's not a secret to Fatima either But what I think happened is, I think when uh, all that stuff was going down at the salon, I think that Fatima saw that this is not just a love thing. This is something that's deeper. Do I think Fatima was wrong for feeling the way that she felt? I don't. I, I think she's entitled to her feelings. But I also think the way that Fatima is feeling is right. I think that what Fatima told Angela is right. It's deeper than that. I saw it. You didn't see it. And if it's one thing a woman can tell, we got intuition. We know when nah, he's saying this, but his actions showing me something different. I think for what Fatima is feeling and what Fatima is sensing when it comes to Zach and Karen, I believe it's true. I believe it's definitely true. She knows that this is deeper than just you love this woman. And it's deeper than the possibility of her being pregnant with your child. You're still in love with her. And that's just what it is. So I'm definitely interested in seeing how this thing come about. Now, the second half of this video is, you know, Fatima needs to leave. Fatima should have left Zach ass a long time ago. (laughs) I have never understood her reasoning for being with him. Them being together has never made sense to me. And I do know what it's like when you uh, are attracted to somebody who may not be good for you at the time or whatever the case may be. Like, I get that. So when they was just having sex, I was like, you know, I get it. Zach is fine. Zach has a nice body. You know what I'm saying? He, he supposedly he's really good, you know, in bed or whatever. I get that part. But when it started turning towards an emotional situation, I was like, what the hell? What the hell is going on now? 
this is one of the main reasons why I don't really have sympathy for Fatima. It's because Fatima has known where Zach Hart was from the very beginning when they were first introduced to each other when she drove his ass to the hotel that Karen was at with Aaron. She told this man to his face, it might be over for her, but it damn sure ain't over for you. And then you go and proceed to have sex with him the next night or the day and a half later. What the hell did you think? What the hell did you think? Let me show y'all this little clip right quick. I want you. Zach. And her. You make me feel like shit. Humiliated. Embarrassed. Let me tell y'all something. If a man who you've been dealing with for six days. Now, mind you, like I said, Tyler Perry, a whole lot of episodes in between. But for us, it seemed like, you know, it seemed like it was forever. But for them, it was six days from the moment Fatima had sex with Zach to the clip I just showed y'all. That was six days that had passed. Five, five or six days. If a man makes you feel that way in less of a week of you dealing with him, leave his ass alone. Run. Run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me because I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> Get away from his ass. The emotions and the the description that Fatima used as to how this man, how Zach made her feel and you still wanted to stick around, help me to understand. Help me to understand. Now, I'm going to make somebody mad when I say this. I don't believe that Zach is in love with Fatima. Yep, yep, damn it, I said it. I said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do I believe that Zach has love for Fatima? I absolutely do. Do I believe that Zach loves Fatima? I absolutely do. Do I believe that Zach is in love with Fatima? I absolutely do not. I have always found it interesting that that some people, the, 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 one, the comments that I've read, people only want to use Zach mommy issues when it pertains to Karen. But it's as if it is completely a long shot to say that his mommy issues are not showing up in his relationship with Fatima. Now, a lot of people were talking about Fatima stating that, you know, she has these abandonment issues. Fatima is not the only person in the relationship that deals with abandonment issues. So does Zach. Zach definitely have detachment issues and abandonment issues. We saw it with his mom and even so more, even dealing with Karen. I think one of the biggest issues as far as him and his uh, aggressiveness, aggressiveness towards Aaron is that I wanted a woman who didn't want me, but chose you because she felt you were better than me. I feel like that is a true feeling of Zach's. And so this thing um, with Fatima and these abandonment issues, I feel like he, you know, if I if I buy her the car, if I get the house, if I'm able to shower her with gifts, if I'm able to do all of these things on a financial level, she's not going to leave me. If I marry her, you know what I'm saying, if I uh, give her my last name, she's definitely not going to leave. I think Zach is doing these things so that he does not have to go through life alone. And I'm not saying that that is accurate, but I'm saying my perspective and my view, I feel like that's one of the reasons why he's trying to rush this. Because my thing is Zach really doesn't know Fatima and Fatima really doesn't know Zach. So why are you trying to rush getting married? It ain't like they have the best type of relationship. It ain't like it's been like a head over heels in love thing. And I've always stated that with this Zach and Fatima relationship, I've never understood the hoopla about it. Like I've never understood the, um, the majesticness. I don't even know if that's a word, but the way that people like fawned over them, I never understood it. And I always said, I believe aesthetically, of course, um, the Val and Crystal aesthetically, they look great together as Fatima and Zach, but I never understood because I always felt it was toxic. I always felt that Fatima always got the short end of the stick when it came to their relationship. There were many a times that I have had debates with people that, you know, oh, Fatima changed him for the better. Fatima made him a better man. Zach has changed so much. And I'm like, what the heck? Where? Where did he change? What did he do? What has Fatima done? Like, I and, and I'm being serious, not being facetious, but it's like I really want to know when I ask those questions – People are very like, most people can't give me a legit response. Just like I asked one girl, and this is no offense to you, but I asked her, she said, you know, I don't, I don't like Karen. I don't, and I said, okay. I said, well, what's your reason for liking Karen, for not liking Karen? 
I just don't like carrying a life with Tima. I'm not even going to engage with you because that's you don't you still haven't told me your reasoning. Because you like Fatima, you can like Fatima and Karen at the same time. It doesn't, you know, like, I don't dislike Fatima. I like Karen and her. But Fatima's not one of my favorite characters. But it is what it is. So I'm just like, I just, I really want to see the journeys of these individuals. Because I don't know what Fatima is getting out of this. I don't understand the benefit of her being in this relationship. That's why I want to see her go. Most people want, most people now want to see her leave because they feel like Zach tried the hell out of her for the way that he was hugging Karen. And I'm like, that's where you draw the line of disrespect. That's where you say, Oh yeah, she got to leave now after all this crazy shit. This woman done been through with this man who she's only been in his life for eight weeks. Hugging Karen. That's what it is. Or what really is it about? So I'm I'm just curious. I know next episode gonna really bring some stuff, you know what I'm saying, more so into place. But it's like it's really interesting. Like I, I, I really feel like Zach is still in love with Karen. I don't feel he's in love with Fatima. I, I just don't. Not yet. I think it could grow into that, but I think Fatima I think Fatima deserves better than that. I really do. I don't I wanna see her be with somebody else, child, because I just I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, I, I just don't. I just don't. And I was going to do a separate video. People was asking, do I believe that Zach and Karen will ever get back together? And the reality is, I hope not. Do I see it happening? There's a strong possibility it could. Some people believe, well, why would Tyler Perry, you know, give them the show Zatima? Why would Tyler Perry put them together? Because it's Tyler Perry. I mean... <laughs> I've never watched the haves and the have nots. All right. I never saw one episode of it, but I remember Twitter being in a frenzy when that man killed and shot up by all those characters on that show. I don't even know who survived over there. So if he did that with that show, what the hell you think he'll do to sisters? And another thing people think, well, you know, Tyler know that people rock with Zatima. They're the reason why people watch the show. I don't watch the show for Fatima and Zach and a whole lot of other people don't either. And Tyler don't give a damn what we think. Tyler don't give a damn what we want. Tyler going to do what Tyler wants to do. And he has the right to do so because he know people still going to watch. Some may drop off, but the majority are still going to watch. Tyler Perry doesn't give a damn about our opinions that much. Okay, trust me, he don't. <laughs> so I'm like, he going to do what he want to do. He could just be using Zatima as a way to, to garner ratings. You know, some people think, you know, he's starting this uh, this triangle to keep the ratings up. It's really not even needed because people are going to watch regardless. People are going to watch regardless. But like I said, no, I don't want that to happen. I don't. And then also, I'm just I'm just thinking about, like, all the, the messages I've gotten. And one thing about, you know, this whole thing with spinning the block, this spinning the block culture is when, you know, you get back with someone who you dated before, it didn't work out, and you guys come back together. A lot of people believe if that were to happen, Zach and Karen, they still wouldn't make it because Karen ain't changed. She's still going to talk down on him. I'm just like, can we can we please end that? Can we please end that revival that Karen just talked down on him? And Karen, it's like, come on. Come on. As if Zach was just so innocent. And, you know, but anyway, I ain't going to go there. What I will say is, if Zach, I do believe that if Tyler Perry ever put Zach and Karen back together, I believe they would make it. And the reason why I say that is because nine times out of 10, when you spin the block, that means there has been diff maybe some years that have passed by. So when you get back together with that person, you are a different version of yourself. You have a different mindset. You have a different outlook on things. Your perspective about relationships and commitment has changed. Now, especially if Zach and Karen have a child together, which is a strong possibility, I believe things between them would be so incredibly different if that were to ever happen. But I'm on the bandwagon with everybody else who don't want to see that shit. <laughs> okay, I don't want to see it. I just don't want to see it. But I think everybody who has sent me an email, a message, I appreciate you. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to respond to everybody as I can. 
that's one of the reasons why I want to do this video because a lot of the questions were surrounding this particular topic here. So, you know, if you said something, if, if I said something, you know what I'm saying, that you agree with or disagree with or you have your own perspective, I would love to hear it just to kind of see, you know, wh what you're thinking about, how you're thinking about this thing. So, again, I thank you guys for listening. Until next time, I will holler at y'all later and y'all be safe out there.